Hello friends, welcome to this tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to be learning how to customize your own dimension styles. Now I've created this architectural drawing. I want to dimension it, but I want a different style to suit what I want. So I'm going to go to dimension style. I'm going to go to create. These are dimension styles that are all in the drawing. There's a preview. So I'm going to go to new. That means there's a three dots here so there's a dollar box waiting for me somewhere so I'm going to click on it so it comes out a new style name so I'm going to call it planting planting which I connotes to be plan dimensions just for my plan only I'm going to click on continue so I have new and I have all the arrows is okay my architectural is okay if you don't want you can just click this black arrow here and you can change it but I'm fine with it because I copied this standard so I'm copying it so that's pretty cool by me then this arrow size so which is hundred is nice I think it's gonna be visible if it's not visible you can come back and change it so my text I have standard for my text so I have want to click this box here so there's a three dots so a dollar box pops up so standard I'm going to click a new so I'm going to call my style name I'm going to call it plan plan dim sorry plan dim so it comes up so I'm going to click on ok so this is my font my font name I'm not good with that so I don't like that so I'm going to go to X I'm typing S on my keyboard so I'm going to go to simplex so I'm going to go to simplex 8 so I like simplex 8 so my text height I'm going to give it 180 my keyboard so 180 and I'm going to click apply now you can delete and you can rename so this is my style name is up so you can rename new or you can rename you can also delete so I'm going to click on apply then close then all other you can set to what you want but I'm pretty good with that now the primary units so this is decimal you can choose scientific engineering architecture so but I'm choosing decimal so yeah what precision do you want I, I, I don't want any precision I just want it to be all uh, in millimeters so let it be in millimeters so the period what I choose in comma I'll, I'm choosing period I like period period is good so I'm going to click OK as you can see my plan is selected yeah so you come here click on your plan dim which is my plan dimensions and set it current click on current and close so I'm going to go to my dimension let me make it a floating toolbar it's floating so I'm going to click on this horizontal dimension system so I'm going to click on it you can see it's not visible we have to go back make it visible so you have to go this time around you have to click on modify so you have to click on modify go back to your text my text is zero I have to change it to 180 to 180 apply and also close is visible this time around so that is how you have to get what you want so I'm going to go to OK. I'm going to set it current. I'm going to click close. Then my text becomes visible. And let's do some other one more. I'm going to click continuation, continue plan. Let's continue our dimensions and look it more, make it more fancy. Yeah. So this is it, guys. How to create your own customized dimension styles. Do give us a thumbs up if you like our video and also subscribe to our channel for loads of our videos coming up. See you in our next video.